Morning, morning, morning. We got a crazy bite today. I don't know if anybody here has done this before, but we're about to. I've done it. It's going off. You haven't done nothing. I did it last night in my sleep. <laughs> Stay tuned, it's gonna be sweet. Happy Valentine's Day today. I'm taking my girlfriend catfishing. I know, romantic, very romantic. But she's a trooper, it's gonna be fun. The weather's nice, and I'm pumped to be out here. Another episode of Team Yukon Outdoors. Today we're out on the horseshoe chain. Can we say that? Absolutely. We're out on the horseshoe chain and uh, we're with Matt Johnson, who runs Ice Team, and Mike Gray, who builds houses. <laughs> uh, but what people don't know is these guys are hammers. So today we're going to go out and we're going to go catch some catfish. Stay tuned, it's going to be an awesome time. up before anyone else. Meow meow. And here's the you're last gonna, one to you're fish. You're gonna see one of the pets that uh, swim down here. Whisper kitty. <laughs> meow meow. I'll get this thing on hooks and show you. I'm wrapped in the Vexlar. Little guy, but he ate it. They're clean fish in the winter time too. A little mud on the bottom, so that one came off the bottom. You can see the mud in its belly. But he ate five feet off the bottom. So they come up and eat. They don't eat garbage on the bottom like everyone thinks. And they got such a pretty face. Kind of looks like Adam Bartusik. I don't know where Adam's at, but it kind of looks a lot like him. But there's a kitty cat. One down, 30 to go. Say bye-bye, buddy. Never had it. So subtle bite. We're using uh, Mitchell meat sticks, 36 inches. You can see that tip. That thing just barely goes down. That's all it did. And then hammered the hook home. That's it. Modified guppy spoon. Replace the single with the treble. These fish bend out them hooks. You want to make sure they're forged and strong. Minnowhead, the rest is history. Let's get another one. Come over here right now. Drop your bait down this hole. I got like seven of them. There's a whole school down there. Let me quickly pull this fish out and drop right down. Get close. I'm not going to hear him. Right. Good old whiskered kitty. Watch Ratesy catch another one here in a second. There's a bunch of them down there. Come on, big guy. And what they do is, is what we are not accustomed to is you see them show up on your Vexlar and you think they're going to bite it. They're over your bait. They're actually circling it. That's why they don't bite it right away. You're like, why is he not biting? It's because they're, they're circling the lure. Meow, meow. Kiss him. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> you catch another one. Got one. I don't know. I've never caught one before, so I couldn't tell you. This thing was like 10 feet off the bottom, though. Yeah, it's a little guy. Yeah. And there is my first catfish through the ice. Oh, yeah. This one was like 10 feet off the bottom. Came in and 
cracked it. No hesitation. Jumped through the hole. Just came right after it. Woo! And Matt just hooked up. I just released it. And that's right where they go every time. So it's a fun fight. It's not like catching a bluegill or a crappie. I mean, they, uh, they put the hammer to it pretty much the entire time. Oh, yeah, this one's not bad. Spoon is gone. Five feet off the bottom, that thing came up and ate it. But these two pounders you can lip, and they taste wonderful. Nice clean meat in this clean water. You cut up the mud vein, batter them up with a little bit of Cajun. Me personally, one of my favorite fish to eat through the ice. Water spoon. Man, oh, you know what? This one was like 10 feet down. It's crazy. These things come all throughout the water column. And I haven't been able to get a single one to bite off the bottom, but these guys came in stacked up high and he had no hesitation. I knew right away with him coming up he was going to do that. So that's a cool one. So, like, when you look at these fish and you hold them, you want to hold them under here because both of their, uh, their dorsals and, uh, they're, you can feel them in their pectorals. Like you could feel, like look at all this is, like I can't even move this. You see how strong that is? That's one big bone and at the end of it's little stingers. And so when you hold them, you hold them like this. Keep your hands away from those and uh, it'll be a fun day. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> there we go. It feels about the same size as the other ones. Yup. Yeah, look at how chunky that little guy is. He's been eating. <laughs> he chowed it too. He's still trying to swallow it. Whew. Just a little guy, but Rach just caught that bigger one. And these guys are, when you think of catfishing, I always think of them coming off the bottom, but these guys are like 10 feet up. So it's pretty cool coming through suspended like crappies. You just kind of reel up and Gonna bend your rod down. It's pretty neat. Never really. Yeah. Yeah, because I set the hook on him and it was just like just like a stop. But that one comes screaming in too. Oh dude, he came flying. He probably came up seven feet for it. Like and I just he came moving at it and it was like okay he's gonna bite. So little guy. The normal size. Got a little whisker back. Yeah, we're gonna go change my gloves now. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are frozen so I'll like so my idea. <laughs> Here he is another run <sighs> just came up and smoked it come on buddy just let go of my hook just came up and smoked it <sighs> another run Ooh. I just had like five of them roll through right here but looks like there's one coming up on the screen again that's a drag's probably set pretty good, so I wonder how big this is. There we go. Ah. Just be there you go. and all of a sudden you just... Yeah. 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 So this far. is awesome. That was so much fun. Yeah, kind of popped up out of nowhere and the mark came and kind of followed it up and I kept jigging and then all of a sudden I kind of stopped for a second and there. then it kind of hit, right, hit pretty hard. It was good. <laughs> it was fun. This is so much fun. Okay, I'm going to get this beauty back in the water.
All right, well, we're about to call it a day. You gotta go pre-fish for ice team you, correct? Got it, yep. Gotta go hit the lake now. So uh, we had a fun time out here. I've never caught half fish through the ice. Um, sadly, Rello still hasn't, <laughs> but you know, soft subject. But uh, Steph crushed them. We all caught some fish, it was a lot of fun.